kids and welcome to a brand new installment of This Is Why You Suck At Guitar. Here with your number one homeboy, Uncle Ben. Let me tell you guys, if there's one thing in this world that I'm absolutely sick and tired of, it's stupid restaurants that put a pickle right there next to or on top of your french fries. As if all that nasty, disgusting pickle juice doesn't just seep out of that thing and leach into that bottom layer of fries and ruin them. It's disgusting. If there's two things in this world that I'm sick of, Number one is still probably the pickle thing, but number two is you not knowing what kind of basic major and minor chords fit into every key. I don't care what kind of music it is that you're trying to play, whether it's rock or blues or jazz or blaz, this is a basic skill that can help you out and help you develop as a musician no matter what caliber of player you are. Traditionally it can be a little bit confusing to go about learning this because if you try to learn this stuff by going about learning all the music theory that there is to know in the world, just when all that you really want to know is what chords sound good together in the key of G can be a little bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, sweet Virginia, I figured out a trick a couple of years ago that will allow you to figure out what all basic chords work in every single key, and you don't really have to know any theory or anything to be able to use it. All that you gotta know is the note names across the low E string and the A string. Now, is this trick I'm gonna show you as good as knowing authoritatively why all of these chords will work together within a key and knowing all the theory behind it and stuff? No, absolutely not. But if you're watching YouTube videos, you're here for one of two things. Cool time-saving tricks or puppy dog videos or kitty videos. Okay, so one of three things. Many, many moons ago, before the This Is Why You Suck At Guitar series came along, I put out a pretty similar video showing this trick that I'm going to show you guys today, but it wasn't really as comprehensive as I wanted it to be. The video quality isn't as good as what I've got right now. The image was flipped and stuff like that. I had a bunch of people ask questions on that video, and I intend to answer them all today. But if you've not seen that original video, don't worry. This is going to cover everything that I covered in that video and more. Let's talk some basics. In every key, there are seven basic chords that are all going to be in key. Three of them are major, three of them are minor, and one of them is a diminished chord. And it's like that in every key. G major has three majors, three minors, one diminished. D minor has three majors, three minors, one diminished. Whatever, doesn't matter. It's always going to be that way. And the cool thing is, is you only got to know one extremely simple shape to help you find every chord that's going to work in every single key. It's this shape right here. God damn it. Stepmom is such a bitch. What I was trying to say is that it's this shape right here. And here's how it works. Okay, remember how I said that there are three major chords that work in every key? Let's start there and talk about how to find those using that shape that I was just showing you. It's really, really, really simple. What we're going to do is to pick a key. Let's go with the key of A major. I can find an A note right here on the fifth fret low E string. Now that pattern that I was talking about, it looks like this. It's going to start off with a note, and again in this case it's a 5th fret low E string, or A note. Then what I want you to do is to play the note on the adjacent string right beneath it, above it pitch wise, but you know what I mean. So 5th fret A string in this case. So now you have this, and you have this, the D note. The next thing that you're going to play is that same string, but two frets higher than where you are right now. So in other words, the seventh fret on the A string, the E note. So here is the pattern that we're going to use to navigate all the chords in every key. It looks just like this. Again, the root note of whatever key you're in, so A, since we're in the key of A. The one on the adjacent string, two frets above it. That gives us A, D, and E. That pattern that you just played has just revealed to you the root notes of the three major chords that are going to work in the key of A. A major, D major, E major. So let's play those chords. A major, D major, E major. You can hear how great those mesh together. And an important thing about all this stuff is too is you can use any voicings of those chords that you know. If you know an A major like this, and a D major like this, and an E major like this, that's fine. You can use those too. You're not limited to just cowboy chord voicings. This is just revealing to you any A major will work, any D major that you know will work, any E major that you know will work. 
It works this way in every single key. So let's look at the key of G and find the three major chords that work in it. Now again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that exact same pattern that we'll do right there, only we're gonna start it off on G, so our third fret on our low E string. Again, you gotta know those natural notes in order to make this stuff work. So if I put that pattern down here on the third fret low E string and play it through, right under, two frets up, like that, then that will yield the notes G, C, and D. That informs me that I can play a G major, a C major, and a D major in any voicing, and they're all gonna sound good together in that key. I'm telling you, this trick is easier than your stepdad after two pina coladas. So again, that really simple pattern starts off on the root note of whatever key it is you're trying to figure out. Just play that pattern, and that tells you what three major chords are going to work in it. But what about the minor chords? Well, Virginia, I'm glad you asked. Another great thing about this easy pattern is that if you move it down three frets away from where you started to find your major chords, one, two, three, and play it there, you'll find the three minor chords that work in that key. Did that just blow your mind? I know. So let's use the key of A again here as an example. Again, I found the three major chords by putting that pattern down starting off on A, and I found that I can do A major, D major, and E major. Now, if I want to know the three minor chords that work in that key, all I got to do is play that same pattern, but three frets down, or one and a half steps. So now I'm going to be starting off here on fret number two, F sharp. And if I play that pattern, there, it's going to tell me the three minor chords that work in that key. F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor. And again, I can play whatever voices of those I know. It doesn't have to be any particular voicing, as long as it's an F sharp minor of some kind, a B minor of some kind, and a C sharp minor of some kind. They'll all sound good and work together. Let's do all that again, but this time in the key of C. So let's say I was trying to figure out the three majors and three minors that work in the key of C. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on a C, so our low E string 8th fret, I'm going to play that pattern. That gives us C, F, and G. Those are the three major chords that will sound good together in that key. Okay, so we established our three major chords. Now to find the minors, I'm just gonna play that same pattern, but just three frets down. One, two, three. It's gonna give you the notes A, D, and E. So A minor, D minor, and E minor are all available in that key. So for the key of C, I've got my three majors, C major, F major, G major. And I've got my three minors, A minor, D minor, E minor. And those are all going to work together quite nicely. So that's six of the seven chords that are going to work in every key. But what about that one pesky little diminished chord? Although diminished chords aren't really used that much in pop music harmony due to their terrifying and dreadful sound, it's still important to know how it would fit into a key. It's really easy to find the diminished chord because it's always going to be a half step right behind whatever key it is that you're working in. So for example, in the key of C, right? Here's a C note, there's my major chord, there's my minor chords. Again, here's the C note, our tonic. You can find the diminished chord just right behind it, here on B. So that would tell me that a B diminished chord would work in that key. And again, to go back to the key of A, I could have A major, D major, E major, F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor. And to find the diminished, all I gotta do is look right behind the key, one half step below the key. So a G sharp diminished is what I would have access to in the key of A. So let's construct this entire chart again with that diminished chord in mind. Again, if this is my starting point for my major chords, here's all the major chords in poo poo, like that. Three frets down from all that business here in lovely technicolor blue are going to be the root notes for our three minor chords that are gonna work in that key. And the one lonely diminished chord is going to be represented just like this in black. And again, that diminished chord is just right behind the key. A really good idea would be just to pick a key, figure out all the chords that are in it, make a bank on a piece of paper or something, and then just try to come up with a chord progression that uses them. So let's say we we're talking about the key of D, right? Well, I'll put the pattern here on D, and I'll find all the major chords. D major, G major, A major. Those are my three root notes four major chords in that key. There's my three major chords in that key available here on the whiteboard. Now again, if I move down one and a half steps from D, I'll find the three minor chords. One, two, three. Now if I play that pattern there, I end up with B, E, 
and F sharp. So that tells me those are the three minor chords available in that key. B minor, E minor, and F sharp minor. So I've added those to my chord bank here. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is to figure out the diminished chord. Again, all that I need to do is start from D, my key that I'm in, and just move down one half step. That's a C sharp. That tells me I'll have a C sharp diminished chord available in that key. So now you've got a catalog of the seven basic chords that work in the key of D major. The three majors, the three minors, and the one diminished. And again, a really crucial aspect of all this stuff that I want to point out to you is that you can use any voicing of those chords that you know. So for D major, G major, A major, yeah, it could be D major, G major, A major. Or it could be D major, G major, A major, if you're right near the beach. Or it could be bar chords like D major, G major, A major. Same goes for those three minor chords, B minor, E minor, F sharp minor. They could be, you know, kind of the standard voicings that you might know. Or B minor, E minor, F sharp minor. You know, whatever floats your boat, you can use any voicing of those chords that you want to. So like I said, just chart them all out like that and then start trying to make some music with it. You might even end up accidentally playing some shit-ass Three Doors Down song. Uncle Ben, what about minor keys? Por qué? Well, for minor keys, all the same business applies. There's three minor chords, there's three major chords, and there's one diminished chord. It's just that you're working from the other end of the map. So let's say I was trying to figure out what all chords are available in the key of A minor. Well, what I would do is I would find an A, like my fifth fret low E string, and I'd play the magic pattern. Again, that reveals to me the three minor chords that are available in the key of A minor. So, A minor, D minor, E minor. To find the three major chords that are going to work on that key, all that I have to do is to move that pattern up one and a half steps from my starting point. One, two, three. So three frets higher than the key that you're looking for. Let me reiterate that again here. For the key of A minor, there's my minor chord root notes. A minor, D minor, E minor. My major chord root notes are going to be located using that same pattern, but three frets higher. Okay, C major, F major, G major. And the diminished chord is gonna be found a whole step above the key. So again, if the key is A minor, then you're gonna have B diminished. That's your starting point for your diminished chord. So again, for A minor, here's your minor chord starting points. Here's your major chord starting points. And here's your one diminished chord, one step above the key. You'll notice that the key of A minor has the exact same chords in it as the key of C major. C major had C major, F major, G major, B diminished, A minor, D minor, E minor. Those are the exact same chords that we had available in the key of A minor. For any major key, there is a minor key that exists three frets below it that contains the exact same notes and chords. And the opposite is true. For every minor key, there is a major key three frets above it that has all the same stuff in it. Those are called relative minors and relative majors. I'm gonna run through another minor key here so you guys are sure you know how all this stuff works. Let's say I was trying to figure out F sharp minor. Well, I'd find an F sharp note, which I can find down here, low E string fret number two, and I'll play the pattern. That'll give me my root notes of my three minor chords. F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor. To find the three major chords that are gonna work in this key, I'm just gonna play that same pattern, but up three frets. One, two, three. That'll give me my three major chord root notes. A major, D major, E major. And to find the one lonely, stinky, diminished chord in that key, again, I'm gonna go back to the starting point of F sharp and just move up one whole step. There's my root note for my diminished chord. So G sharp, diminished. Do you got it? I think you got it. So now that you got the basics down, let's shake it up a little bit. Now, with those starting points that we talked about for your majors, again, I'll do the key of A, majors, and minors that live, you know, three doors down from them like that. You could also turn all of those into root notes for power chords and play every Green Day song ever. Notice that I only pointed out the six major and minor chords. I didn't say that you could put a power chord on the diminished. You know, if you do play a power chord there, it doesn't necessarily sound terrible, but it is technically kind of sort of a little bit out of key. But there's plenty of songs that have used uh, a power chord where the diminished should be, and uh, it's turned out just fine. So don't worry about that one too much. 
But all those dang power chords are just a bunch of kids stuff. Real grown-ups like to play chords with names that sound like vitamins, like B11 or A7. I'm not going to get too terribly deep on how all the super mega extended chords fit into all this stuff, but it is at least useful to know how the basic major 7, minor 7, dominant 7, and minor 7 flat 5 chords that are commonly used in jazz can fit into this sort of trick too. In every key, there are two major 7 chords that'll work. There's one dominant 7 chord that'll work. There's three minor 7 chords that'll work and there's one minor seven flat five or half diminished chord that will work and be in key. Let's talk about the three major chords and their next evolution harmonically. Okay, again, I'm gonna use the key of A major here to help you guys out with this. So, in the key of A major, we started from A and here were our three major chords, right? A major, D major, E major. Now, if I wanna get a little bit more expensive and add a little bit more of a high price tag to these chords here, I can turn them into their uh, next tier of harmony, there's seven forms. So, with your three major chords, these two, the A and the D, the first two that you play, those can become major seven chords. So A major seven and D major seven, again, whichever way you feel like playing those chords, these two can be turned into major seven chords. This one, this major chord, the E major chord, gets turned into a dominant seven chord. Sometimes it's called a seven chord. Okay, so again, here's our three majors, A major, D major, E major, and then they all grew up and got jobs and became A major seven, D major seven, and E seven. So we turned this into this, A major seven, D major seven, E seven, A major seven. There's three minor seven chords that'll work in every key, and this is really easy, because basically any of those three minor chords that you found, any of those can be turned into minor sevens. It's pretty easy. So again, here's your majors, major seven, major seven, dominant seven. If you go down three frets, that's where we found the minor chords, F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor. We can turn any of those three minor chords, F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor, we can turn any of those three chords into minor seven chords if you're looking to slightly raise the interest rate of the neighborhood. And as for that one lowly smelly diminished chord, the one that lived in the back alley behind the key, so in other words G sharp diminished is what we had originally, that guy blossoms from that into a beautiful minor seven flat five chord, or we could call that G sharp half diminished, whichever floats your boat. Okay, one more time for the world. Major chords, diminished chord, minor chords. Next tier of harmony is major seven, major seven, dominant seven. The diminished turns into a minor seven flat five. And the three minors all grow up and become minor seven chords. And again, I would just make a list of those and then try to make some music out of them. Lightning round, expensive chords in a minor key. Go! Okay, so just like before, it's the same thing but opposite. So let's say I was trying to figure out all the Yaz chords available in the key of A minor. Well, I have my minor chords right here, A minor, D minor, E minor. Uh, up one and a half steps here is gonna be my three major chords, C major, F major, G major, and the one diminished chord that lived a step above the key, B diminished. A minor, D minor, E minor, B diminished. C major, F major, G major. Just like when we did major key, any of these minor chords can become minor seven chords. The diminished chord can become a minor seven flat five chord. And of these three major chords that you found in that minor key, major seven, major seven, dominant seven. Although it is worth pointing out that a really common trick to see a lot of times in minor key stuff is you know how I said a second ago, like you can turn any of those into minor seven chords? Well, something that a lot of people like to mess around with is turning that into a minor seven, that one into a minor seven, and this one into a dominant seven. This is a sound that you've heard in minor key blues, gypsy jazz, Spanish music, classical music, everything. So minor seven, dominant seven, minor seven. Just like that. So yeah, minor seven, minor seven, dominant seven. That works really well sometimes too, even though that is slightly a little bit out of key. 
Meow, that should be pretty damn clear, but before we go, I'm gonna go over it one more time from start to finish, basic to complex, because I don't wanna waste my damn life away answering your all's questions in the dang comments section. I've gotta be breeding that god dang gold chocobo for the Final Fantasy VII, and how the hell am I supposed to do that if I'm glued to the damn computer answering your all's jabroni questions? If you find yourself in a dang old major key, you can find all of your major chords using this pattern right here. Major. You can find yourself a dang diminished chord right behind the key. Right there. You can find the root notes of your three minor chords three frets below the key. So again, let's say this is the key. One, two, three. That same shape. That is where your minor chords are going to be rooted out from. So these blue ones here are your minors. So you got your three minors, your one diminished, and your three majors all right there. You could play any of these as power chords, including that one, as long as you don't flinch. If you're wanting to up the price tag of your song considerably, you can turn this major chord and this major chord into major sevens. The other major chord that fit into the key can be turned into a seven chord or dominant seven. Your one diminished chord that occurred right behind the key, that can turn into a half diminished chord or minor seven flat five as it's sometimes known. And any of your three minor chords, which again all occur one and a half steps down from your major chords, any of those can be turned into a minor seven chord in any voicing whatsoever that you choose. They don't necessarily have to be glued to these particular frets. Just find the root notes of the chords based on this, make a big database on some paper or something, and then hell, even Google some chord charts or something to figure out different ways to play all of those chords that you've just discovered work in that key. For minor keys, all of this stuff is basically reversed. Your starting point with that pattern will reveal the root notes of the three minor chords that are available in that key to you. One and a half steps or three frets above the starting note for the key, we will find the three major chords that work in that key. And lastly, a step above our starting point for our minor key, we can find the one lonely diminished chord. And for that extended jazz harmony and minor keys, again, these three guys here can all be turned into minor seven chords. These two major chords located up here can be turned into major seven. And the one diminished chord that we had right there that was located a whole step above a minor key can be turned into a half diminished or minor seven flat five chord. And again, whether you're in a major key or a minor key, a lot of times this minor chord right here or this minor seven chord, a lot of times that will get turned into a dominant chord instead, same as that one. And uh, that just yields a cool effect. That's not necessarily a rule, but it's something that does happen a lot of times. A lot of times that minor chord gets turned into a dominant. Try that out. So there you go guys, a cool trick to help you figure out all the basic chords that fit into every key, whether it's major or minor, whether it's D or B flat or A or C or whatever. Whether you're using really simple chord types like power chords, or whether you're using more high dollar chord types like those major sevens and minor sevens. You can always use that trick to help yourself find your way around any old key. Yes, there are other chord types beyond the ones that we talked about today. And yes, there are plenty of times that people break out of this framework and use chords that are completely out of key in really clever and subtle ways that don't even make it sound like they're going out of key. It happens all the time. But this is just a good basic framework for you guys to see how the basic kind of chords fit into a key without needing to know any kind of big theory explanations or anything like that. Hopefully that'll help you guys gain some solid footing no matter what it is that you're trying to do and whatever key it is you're trying to do it in. Thank you all so much as always for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and share it on your social media outlet of choice. 
You all can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben Eller Guitars. You can go like my new Facebook fan page over on facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And if you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons to talk about the theory that drives these kind of things or technique or whatever it is you want to learn, you can drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for another episode coming soon. Cheers.